The Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. So it's been a really unusual spring. It's been dry all of April. It's May now, uh, we finally got some moisture, but a lot of growers wondering when they should have planted corn. This corn was planted on April the 8th, and at the time the soil was in excellent condition. Then April stayed cold all the way through. This corn actually emerged, and we got a, a very cold night on April the 26th. You can see that we froze the emerged plants. So you can see here that that one has been damaged as it's been coming through. It's all corkscrewed. There's the uh, point of the frost right there. It will survive, it is okay. It will push out and straighten up, but very, very close to killing this plant as well. It survived, but very close. But the other thing that happens is we end up with, with plants where the frost penetrated deeply enough that we actually froze the growing point. You can so here's a seed that we dug out. You can see a massive root system. If this plant hadn't gotten frozen, even though it was planted really early and, the, and temperatures were cool, it was growing lots of roots, an excellent root system. There was the shoot. The shoot was pushing up towards the, the soil surface. The seed looks like it's in great shape. It's still firm. There's no disease whatsoever, but it got frozen off the brown tip and it's dead. Because of that, we end up with gaps in, in the stand, and those gaps in some instances are certainly going to cost us some yield. There's, there's not anything we can do at this stage. It's a good enough stand, we're not going to replant, but it certainly has had an impact, and very, very lucky that it wasn't a more significant impact. It stayed dry. Had it turned cold and wet, then we might be looking at a lot of fields with somewhere in that 20, 21,000 stand instead of a lot of fields at 30 and 32,000 plant population. And we're just very, very fortunate we ended up as good as we did. So we are never really sure how early is too early to plant. This was one of those years when we could plant extremely early. This field, as I said, was planted April the 8th. You can look down the rows. You can see that in general, we have a good stand, but there's always risks to early planting. We get on the sand soil here, and sand is more frost prone, we're down to about a 21 or 22,000 final stand. A lot of growers would look at this and say, well, that's not enough. But in actual fact, if you were to come in and plant a full stand a month later, you get less yield than you do out of the 21 or 22,000 plants per acre. So there, you really have to balance the replant cost versus the yield loss you take from later planting. This is still worth leaving, but it does show the risks when we plant that early and we get these these frosts and realistically we should expect frosts in late april or early Mar early may